Are we gonna win this trade? Oh, that's oh my okay. So let's move on, let's keep trading. Yo, 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 what's happening? Binary option gang, hustler gang. How y'all doing today? It's a great day, because it's always a great day if you're making money. But it's another great day for me to share with you some crazy strategies that I've been working on with my team. And, you know, we've been putting pieces together you know, strategizing, trying to make sure that we got good, good, good videos planned for y'all. And this is one of those bomb videos. I'm going to be using some combination of, of indicators that you guys probably wouldn't think to use together. I'm talking about A-Ron. I'm talking rate of change. You see it all in the video. Why am I? Don't, I'm not going to get ahead of myself. So what are we going to do right now? I am going to plug my free Telegram channel. You can join me now. What are you doing? Pause the video right now. Click on the page and go subscribe to my free Telegram channel. You want to support your boy? Feel free to support your boy. Another way you can support your boy is by going to the description, clicking on my VIP. If you want to make more money with me. But if that's too much to ask, at least follow your boy on Instagram, you know, like my photos, support your boy. You know, you know, we're in this community together. We might as well just support your boy and let your boy be happy. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So first of all, to start our trade today, we're going to change our time. And time is important because we want one minute trade started with 530 bucks today. We're going to change our candles to 10 seconds so we can see everything in real time and we can be able to make quick decisions. So before that, I'm going to choose my indicators. Moving average, you know moving average, you know that it's a great indicator if you're looking to identify trends in the market. So, you know, some of my personal settings, nothing out of the ordinary. And the next is the Arun or Aaron. I have no idea how this is pronounced correctly, but it's a good indicator if you're looking to predict market momentum. And in this case, we're able to do that and we'll get a little bit of sentence here. Let me change the color. So yeah, and my last indicator will be rate of change. And rate of change is a good indicator if you're looking for the speed of price movement. So it's important for you to know how quickly is it gonna change? How quickly are you gonna get into a trade? So now I'm gonna go ahead and add some OTC market currency pairs. You know, just some of my favorite personally, you know, I like to trade USD and Brazilian Lira or Japanese Yen. So these are just some of my favorite. USD and Indian Rupee is also has been one of my uh, go-to currency pairs in the last couple, couple of weeks, maybe months. So now I'm just going to sit a little watch and we're going to enter into a first trade. So let's jump right into a trade. We are going to put on this and this is, I think we could have entered maybe a couple of minutes earlier, maybe a couple of seconds earlier on this trade. But as we can see, it's easy to see why this trade is being made. We can see that the Arun is showing us that the momentum of the market is going downwards and our moving average is also showing like, uh, downward movement so we can see that the price right now is below 50 day moving average which indicates uh that we're going downward pretty much so we are seeing a huge downward trend in this motion and you can see that the arun confirms this because we can see where the green line crosses with the red line and we can see that they're all also going downwards so the green line, you can see that it's from below and that's it, $974. As you can see, this was a quick, quick, easy money trade. Let's get into the second trade real quick. Moving on to our second trade, we're going to call 
And this is an easy decision to make if you see that like, we've seen the crossing on the Aaron or Arun. I don't know exactly how that's pronounced, and I'm saying it for the second time already. We can see the crossing, and we can see that the red line is below, and the green line is above, which shows us that this is the opposite situation from the first trade. Because in the first trade, if you looked at the Aaron, you would see that the red was on the top. So we can see that there is no crossing. There's a huge space between both of them. And if we were to go to rate of change, which shows us the price action, we can see that now we can see a little bit of divergence, but we don't really see uh, much. Nothing is coming even close to our uh, uh, call position. So we can see that we are in the money and we're just a couple of seconds away from winning this trade. Um, but anything you can see is the moving average. If you look from the point at which we, oh my God, it's $974 in the bank. So let's move on. Let's keep trading. We got more money to make. For this next trade, I am going to first increase my investments and I'm going to go call option in the Australian dollars versus Swiss francs. So now explaining my my uh, thought behind this is easy. Uh, first of all, look at the Iran. We are in the green, which shows us that we are definitely going up on this trade. We can see a little bit of uh, the market. Just We can see the speed with the rate of change. And we can see that there's been like a huge push from the buyers so i think that we've entered a great spot to you know ride that up trend wave with them but we can see that the gap is closing in the aaron but i think we've entered a, such a good position that this won't bother us and we can see a divergence back upwards uh, the moving average is also showing an upward trend so this should be an easy win for us to have in a bag so it shouldn't be something that we should be worried about. That's $1,870. Uh, I mean, we made 6000 the last time, so I think we still have more to make this time. So we're just going to keep trading and see what our final results will be. For the next trade, I'm thinking Swiss franc, Japanese yen, and I'm going to call because we've really had good experiences and we're calling today and i think that this might be a little i'm a little skeptical now because we can see where we can see three or four different crossings on the aaron and i think that now we're gonna see separation uh between the red and green lines but we can see that the rate of change is showing somewhat of a downward momentum now, but I think that we're going to pick up and there's not going to be a cross in at all in this situation. So uh, what I want, okay, that's a little bit scary. I think that we are out of the money at the moment, but we're in the money again. We're only a couple of seconds out from winning. So uh, are we going to win this trade? Are we, uh, okay. Uh, Oh, God damn. Wow. Crazy. That's crazy. So we're, we're okay. That's, that was a crazy emotional roller coaster. Cause I, cause I, one of those situations when you put, <laughs> my heart might be bitten a little bit, but crazy. All right. Uh, let's get our emotions out of it. We stuck to our plan and we won. And that's the only reason why we won. So let's keep trading. Let's look for another currency pair that might be profitable for us so we can continue making money. In this trade, I'm going to put option on euros against Swiss francs. The euros has been doing very bad against many currency. If you're in the OTC market or a forex trader, you would know. Uh, there's a lot of situations in Europe that's uh, a cause for this situation, but the Euros hasn't been doing very well, and anyone who's been trading in the OEC market could tell you that easily. 
but what's my what's my own take behind this trade is because obviously if you look at the Aron, it's shown us a downward. We can see that there's been one, two, three, four, four crossings, and we can see that the red line is at the top, which is showing us a definitely downward momentum. We can see the green line coming up, so we can see buyers buying. But I think that the seller is old power because the euros is in the dump at the moment. Maybe not against some currencies, but I think against the Swiss francs is definitely in the dumps. Uh, that's oh my okay. Uh, seven grand we just won, and I think we won every trade that we put in. So four four tra different trades, and so we're up seven thousand. I think I'm not going to push my luck and I'm just going to stop here. Last time we stopped at 5,000, this time at 7,000. I think that that's a great, great, great improvement. I mean, it's just about like $1,000 about because I think the last video we had about 5,900, 5,900 maybe. Uh, but I think we're just going to stop here at 7,500. Yeah, I think this is a great number. So as you can see for yourself, uh, this strategy is one that I have kept under my belt for a minute and I was couldn't wait to show you guys because it was really profitable. We just went from about $500 to $7,500, which is great. Uh, and I hope you guys can test this out for yourself, back test it, write in the comments down below. Did you make money with it? Did you not make money with it? Is there any way that you feel like I could tweak this to make it more better? If there, if you have any suggestions, please go into the comments below. And if you're looking for a cool and easy way to make money, trade in binary options on Quotex or whatever platform you might want to use, join my free Telegram channel. I've got free signals every single day. It's ridiculous. I also have a VIP channel. All of the links are in the description down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification because you want to know when a new BZ video drop. Thank you for spending your evening, night, morning, lunch time with me today. I'm happy that you're here. Peace. I'm out. See you in the next video.